Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a little sensor that can cause some big problems if it goes bad. The camshaft sensor. This little guy is responsible for telling your car's computer when to fire the spark plugs and inject fuel. If it's not working right, your whole engine can be thrown out of whack. We're gonna go over the 12 most common symptoms of a bad camshaft sensor, so you can diagnose the problem and get it fixed before it leaves you stranded on the side of the road. So buckle up, grab a wrench, and let's get this show on the road. All right, folks, the first and most obvious sign that your camshaft sensor might be on its way out is that dreaded check engine light. This little light can be a real headache, but it's there for a reason. It's your car's way of telling you that something isn't quite right under the hood. Your car's computer is constantly monitoring all the sensors, including the camshaft sensor. These sensors play a crucial role in ensuring your engine runs smoothly by providing real-time data to the computer. If it detects something fishy, like the sensor sending out erratic signals or no signal at all, bam! That check engine light is gonna illuminate. This is your car's way of waving a red flag and saying, hey, pay attention to me. That's where a little gadget called an OBD2 scanner comes in handy. This device is a lifesaver for diagnosing issues without having to tear apart your engine. Just plug it into your car's diagnostic port, usually located under the steering wheel, and it'll read the trouble codes stored in your car's computer. These codes are like your car's way of speaking to you, telling you exactly what's wrong. If you see a code related to the camshaft sensor, like a P0340 or P0341, well, you know you're barking up the right tree. These codes specifically point to issues with the camshaft sensor, making your troubleshooting a lot easier. But hey, don't just assume it's the camshaft sensor based on the check engine light alone. There could be other underlying issues causing the light to come on, so it's always best to do a thorough check. All right, symptom number two, engine misfires. This is one of those issues that you can feel right away when you're driving. It's like your engine is skipping a beat, sputtering, and just not running smoothly. You might notice it more when you're idling or accelerating. A bad camshaft sensor can definitely be the culprit behind those annoying misfires. This sensor plays a crucial role in your engine's performance. If the sensor is sending the wrong signals or no signal at all, the timing gets all messed up. This can throw off the entire combustion process. Your spark plugs might fire at the wrong time or not at all, leading to incomplete combustion in the cylinders. This not only affects performance, but can also damage your engine over time. Now, misfires can be caused by a bunch of other things too, like bad spark plugs or clogged fuel injectors. It's important to get a thorough diagnostic to pinpoint the exact issue. But if you're experiencing misfires along with some of the other symptoms we're talking about, that camshaft sensor is definitely a prime suspect. Don't ignore it. Get it checked out to avoid bigger problems down the road. All right, let's talk about symptom number three, poor acceleration. You know that feeling when you step on the gas and your car just doesn't wanna go? Like it's stuck in mud or something? When your camshaft sensor is working properly, it helps your engine run efficiently by making sure the air and fuel mixture is spot on. But when the sensor goes bad, that delicate balance gets thrown out of whack. Your engine might run too rich or too lean, which can lead to a loss of power and sluggish acceleration. So if you're noticing a significant drop in your car's acceleration, that camshaft sensor is definitely worth investigating. All right, symptom number four is a real pain in the neck, hard starting. You turn the key, the engine cranks and cranks, but it just won't fire up. A faulty camshaft sensor can be the culprit behind your starting woes. When the sensor goes bad, it can send incorrect signals, causing your car's computer to get all confused about when to ignite the air-fuel mixture. It's like trying to start a fire with wet matches. Your engine might crank and crank, but it won't start until it gets the right signals from a properly functioning camshaft sensor. All right, symptom number five is enough to make your heart skip a beat stalling. You're driving along, minding your own business, when suddenly your engine just quits on you. A bad camshaft sensor can be the culprit behind those unexpected stalls. If the sensor malfunctions and sends incorrect or erratic signals, it can disrupt the delicate balance of your engine's operation. This disruption can cause the engine to stall, especially at low speeds or when idling. So if your car has a tendency to stall out of nowhere, especially when you're coming to a stop or idling, that camshaft sensor is definitely worth investigating. 
All right, let's talk about symptom number six, poor fuel economy. A bad camshaft sensor can actually be a silent fuel thief, robbing you of precious miles per gallon. When the sensor goes bad, that delicate balance gets thrown off. Your engine might run too rich, meaning it's getting too much fuel compared to air. And guess what? That extra fuel doesn't just disappear. It gets wasted going right out the tailpipe and taking your hard-earned money with it. Similarly, you can keep filling up your tank, but you're not going to see good fuel economy until you fix that faulty camshaft sensor. All right, symptom number seven is another one that can make you think your car is possessed rough idling. When you come to a stop and your whole car shakes and vibrates like it's about to fall apart, yeah, that's rough idling. If the sensor is on the fritz, it can send incorrect signals, causing the timing of those spark plugs to get all messed up. And when the timing is off, your engine isn't going to run smoothly, especially at idle when it's most noticeable. Similarly, your engine might be able to idle with a bad camshaft sensor, but it's going to be a rough and shaky experience. All right, symptom number eight is a real downer reduced engine power. You step on the gas, expecting your car to take off like a rocket, but instead it feels like it's dragging an anchor. A faulty camshaft sensor can definitely be the culprit behind your power loss woes. When the sensor goes bad, that delicate balance gets thrown off. Your engine might not be getting enough fuel or the timing might be off, leading to a noticeable decrease in power. Similarly, your car might be able to function with a bad camshaft sensor, but it's going to feel sluggish and underpowered. All right, symptom number nine might surprise you, transmission shifting problems. This is one of those issues that can sneak up on you when you least expect it. You're driving along and your transmission starts acting up, shifting erratically, slipping, or even refusing to shift at all. It can be quite alarming, especially if you're in the middle of traffic or on a long road trip. Your car's computer uses information from various sensors, including the camshaft sensor, to determine the optimal time to shift gears. These sensors are crucial for the smooth operation of your vehicle. If the camshaft sensor is sending incorrect signals, it can confuse the computer, leading to all sorts of transmission woes. This can result in your car jerking or hesitating when you try to accelerate. Similarly, your car's computer might be able to control the transmission with a bad camshaft sensor, but it's not going to be a smooth or predictable experience. You might notice delays in shifting or even hear strange noises coming from the transmission. So if your transmission is acting up, it might be worth checking that camshaft sensor. A quick diagnostic check could save you from a lot of headaches and potentially expensive repairs down the line. All right, symptom number 10 is another one that can make you feel like you're driving a jackhammer excessive engine vibrations. When your whole car shakes and rattles, especially at certain speeds or under acceleration, yeah, that's not normal. If the sensor is on the fritz, it can cause the timing to get all out of whack, leading to uneven combustion in the cylinders. And when the combustion is uneven, it creates vibrations that you can feel throughout your car. Similarly, your engine might be able to run with a bad camshaft sensor, but it's going to shake and vibrate more than it should. All right, symptom number 11 is enough to make you think you're in a war zone backfiring. Those loud bangs and pops coming from your exhaust? Yeah, that's backfiring. A bad camshaft sensor can be the culprit behind those explosive sounds. If the sensor is sending incorrect signals, it can cause the spark plugs to fire at the wrong time, igniting the air fuel mixture when the exhaust valve is still open. And when that happens, boom, you get a backfire. Similarly, when your spark plugs fire at the wrong time, you're creating a recipe for backfiring and potential damage to your exhaust system. All right, symptom number 12 is the most extreme and frustrating one of all a no-start condition. You turn the key and absolutely nothing happens. A completely failed camshaft sensor can be the culprit behind your car's refusal to start. If the sensor is completely dead, it can't send any signals at all. And without those signals, your car's computer has no idea when to fire the spark plugs or inject fuel, so the engine just sits there, lifeless. Similarly, your engine won't start until it gets the right signals from a functioning camshaft sensor. And there you have it, folks. Those are the 12 symptoms of a bad camshaft sensor, along with how to test and fix it. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, don't ignore them. Get your car checked out by a trusted mechanic, or if you're feeling adventurous, grab your tools and tackle the repair yourself.
Remember, a little preventative maintenance goes a long way and it can save you a lot of headaches and money in the long run. So stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.